Welcome to part two of my video diary. I'm Lee Morris and 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 it's now winter time. Obviously, hard work out there on the bank at the moment. Hopefully something happens for me. Hopefully you enjoy the show. <laughs> Give me one. Give me one. I got special tea. Can you leave him? Bye bye and go for now. Don't die. This lovely little one. Do you want to touch him? Oh. Go on then. Oh, is that nice? It's fishy. Yeah, yeah it's, it's fishy. Like, oh, oh, he oh. dropped in there. He dropped in the water. Yeah, that's where you drop him, isn't it? The court, what did we catch this one using? The big one. Yeah, what did we catch it using? Special G? Special G? Yeah, and um, what else? Uh, Chili hemp? Chili hemp? Yeah, and. Did we using the sweet coconut cook bait? Cook bait, coconut. Yeah, that's right. So, not a massive one, but it's lovely to be having them in January this time of year. Mm. He's beautiful, isn't he? Oh, look. Ah, that's all right, don't worry. That's it, wipe it on me. Right, should we put him back then? Uh, yeah. Say goodbye. Seeming as the weather's brightened up on this January session, I thought I'd tell you a little bit about the swim. It's an absolute mission to get round to this swim. In this last 24 hours, I've had six bites. I've got some overhanging trees to be left here. 
I've roped it off and it's roped across that way and then across the lake this way. Well, how about this for a lovely winter carp? Beautiful chestnut looking common. Oh, easy beast, easy beast, easy beast, <laughs> easy beast, easy beast. Can't believe he's still got some fight left in him. He fought like an absolute demon, he did, and he's still going. Come on. Let's have a look at you. Have a look at that. Lovely. First 20 pounder of 2013. And what a beautiful looking chestnut common he is. Absolutely wicked. Well chuffed for this. Caught him on the hinge. Uh, no, not on the hinge, stiff rig. I caught this one on the 360 rig as I lost a fish last night using the hinge stiff rig. So I bumped the hook up and decided to get me FFA full 360 rig out, which I'll show you, and bank this beauty. Well chuffed for this, excellent. Right, well like I said, I'd show you, that's the actual rig there that I caught that lovely 20 pound chestnut looking common on. And yeah, I know straight away a few of you are like, oh, look at the state of that hook. But at the end of the day, I lost one last night and I hate losing carp. There's nothing worse. So this rig has never, ever failed me. Every fish that I've hooked on it, I've nailed and nailed him good and proper. I've treated him every time. So, you know, there's no excuses for not treating him once you've taken the hook out. Oh, all right, got to take here. was the one that kindly interrupted us whilst I was showing you that 360 rig. Wicked. Well, the next clip that you're going to see is one of my mates, Trev Cook, having a couple of winter carp himself. I'm going to get this fella back and hopefully catch another one before the day ends. Top stuff. <laughs> I'm a little cod. Okay. 
Daddy. Just put me bum in the water, lovely. Come on. Come on. I lost an absolute vibe. Oh. The oak pulled on me, which I was gutted about. I mean, legs were shaking and everything. Excellent. Mesdames, Messieurs, the disc jockey Zach is de retour. Easy beast. Greasy little card. Fire. Front calf, which does an awesome breakfast. I'm now on Suffolk Water Park. Just double check this trip. The next clip you're going to see oh, is me chucking a fish back. <laughs> Literally five minutes after weighing the rod out, and every fish that I've hooked on it is more than welcome. <laughs> 